Hey guys, this is Coach Brian, and I'm going to teach you how to go over a play diagram. This is a really important skill because most plays are diagrammed in a certain language, and if you don't understand that language, then a lot of the stuff you just won't understand. So, um, no one ever taught me. I just kind of figured it out, and so I'm going to make sure to show you guys so you know it'll be that much easier for you to catch on when you see these type of play diagrams. So, first things first. This circle means that he has the ball. So that's the point guard. He started off with the ball. When you see this kind of zigzag, squiggly line, that means he's dribbling the ball. So there's different arrows and there's different you know types of arrows for different things, but that little squiggly line into an arrow means that he's dribbling the ball. So in this situation, the four and the five are setting ball screens for the one and he's dribbling off those screens when he gets here he's looking at a pass so and potentially actually passing it so anytime you see this T that's a screen could be a ball screen could be a down screen could be a screen away from the ball whatever but um, anytime you see the T that's a screen anytime you see a solid arrow that's movement so the five after he sets this ball screen he cut back to the basket um, in fact, the number three who was in the corner set a back screen for this number five to cut to the basket. So, hope that makes sense. So, once he gets to the basket, the one should be over here. And that dotted line means that he was attempting to pass the ball or he passed it. But that's the, that's the look. So, um, just to kind of review, we got... This back screen, we know it's a screen because it has that little T shape at the end. We have these two ball screens. We know these are screens because they have the little T shape. We have this player movement because it's a regular arrow, a solid arrow. Um, and then we have this player movement, but he has the ball because we have the circle. And we know he's dribbling because he has the little squiggly line. So let's look at the second frame. So in this play, the five ended up stopping at the block. Um, the four, after he set his screen, the five, I'm sorry, the three, who was right here setting the screen, end up going to set a second screen for the two. And then the four set a second screen. So now, if you look here, the one still has the ball. Apparently, the five was not open. So we have the three, who finished off right here in the first frame. The four who finished off right here in the first frame, so they're in those spots, they're going to set what's called a stagger screen. So two screens um, for the number two. The number two is going to do player movement. So he's going to run to set his guy up and then come running off this screen. And then I see a dotted line with the arrow. That means we're passing the ball to him. He'll probably be open for the shot. So that's pretty much the different things you'll see. Um, there are a couple of different little little things that you may possibly see on a play diagram, but this is the the bulk of it. So you have you know your all your players are numbered one through five typically. You have dotted lines for passes. You have solid lines for player movement. You have these little T's to say you're setting a screen. So this screen was away from the ball. Um, same thing if you have a ball screen, it's a little T. Um, if you do see this can be confusing, it's a screen into player movement. So he set a screen, then he moved without the ball. Anytime you move with the ball, that means you're dribbling. And so you have this little zigzaggy line and that's pretty much it. So not too tough, but it's important to understand exactly how this stuff works. So, you know, when you do see a play, you can actually read it properly. So thanks for watching.